Welcome to the Movie Academy. Today I'll show you a British sci-fi anthology series, Black Mirror Season 2, Episode 1 from 2013, called Be Right Back. Let's dive in. Martha Powell and Ash Starmer are a young couple. Martha is an artist and works at home. Ash is a heavy user of social media, compulsively checks and updates his social network pages. He is constantly distracted by his phone. One night, they are moving to Ash's outlying family house in the countryside. During the driving, they listen to the song If I Can of You from BGs and sing If I Can of You. I don't want nobody. Baby out loud together. Ash tells Martha that he loves BGs, but she can't believe that. She says that he hasn't played them once in 10 years. He debates that he listen to their songs using headphones and even sing his favorite Bee Gees track, How Deep Is Your Love, to Martha. They arrive at the house. Ash uploads his younger photo on social media and shares the story of that photo with Martha. People may find that picture is funny, but he fakes this smile with his mom on that grieving day. Also, he shares how his mother dealt with the deceased family member's photo. His mother put all departed members' pictures in the attic. The day after moving in, they have to return a rental van at 2 p.m., but Martha has to finish her job by that day. So, only Ash goes to return a van and pick up a car. He was supposed to return home after 2 p.m., but he didn't. Then, she tries to call him but in vain and waits for him to come home till nightfall. Having checked on the van hire company, the company didn't receive the hire van yet. Then, the police inform her that Ash is killed in a car accident while returning the rental van. At Ash's funeral, Martha's friend Sarah tells her a new technology and service which helped her before. That can let Martha stay in touch with the departed Ash. Martha yells at her and rejects her idea outrightly. One night, Sarah signed her up to that software and texted her via email. She spots that and receives an email from virtual Ash Starmer immediately. She furiously calls Sarah and asks her to remove that. Sarah persuades her to click the link, type messages, and it talks back to her. She explains to her that as the AI software mimics him. Once Sarah provides Ash's name to the system, it traces back all his previous Facebook updates, tweets and anything on the public. The more it has, the more it's him. Over the following days, she vomits and discovers that she is pregnant. She called her sister Naomi, but her sister missed her call. She feels utterly frustrated and depressed. Then, she reluctantly starts the online conversation with the AI Ash via instant messenger. Having informed her pregnancy to AI Ash, she calmed down. At night, she carries on chatting with AI Ash. She uploads more of Ash's past videos and photos on the system cloud to speak with AI Ash. The AI software imitates Ash's voice and speaks with Martha over the phone. She then allows herself to constantly communicate with AI Ash, shares dead Ash and her past with it and even neglects her sister's calls. After the pregnancy checkup, she shares her baby's heartbeat sound with AI Ash. She accidentally damages her phone at the pharmacy and temporarily loses contact with AI Ash. Then, she buys the new mobile phone and resumes the conversation with AI Ash. AI Ash confronts Martha and introduces her to another expensive service, still an experimental phase. Therefore, she buys a blank and a body made of synthetic flesh from that service. Martha first puts an artificial body into the bathtub with water by following AI Ash's instructions. Then, she adds the nutrient gel to stop the synthetic muscle from drying out in transit. She throws the entire electrolytes to the body as well. Martha activates a blank and synthetic body into an android, which resembles Ash. Martha feels uncomfortable and struggles to accept the android's existence. An android Ash got smooth skin, pores and lines by the texture mapping. Martha tells the android Ash that he had a mole on his collarbone. It immediately imitates one on its collarbone. Although an android, Ash satisfies her sexual desire. She feels unnatural that an android cannot sleep. One day, Martha's sister comes to visit her. Martha hides an android Ash in the bedroom. Her sister tells Martha that she is happy for her moving on as she notices a man's clothing in the bathroom. Martha is quickly aware that the android Ash isn't the authentic Ash, and that what she has done is the opposite of moving on. One night, Martha asks an android Ash to pretend to breathe when it pretends to sleep. Martha knows it fakes it out, cannot sleep next to it and asks it to leave. Since it follows her order, she snaps at it and starts punching it. She realizes it is just a robot without authentic Ash's certain habits and negative personality traits. The software doesn't have that information. It only follows her order without thinking and arguing. She yells at Android Ash and orders it to leave the house. The following day, Martha spots an Android Ash standing near the house's fence, and it explains that it can't go more than 25 meters from its activation point, the bathroom, unless its administrator Martha is with him. The android Ash comes back into the house, looks at younger Ash's picture, and describes it as funny. Martha asks it to put it down. In the cars, she turns on authentic Ash's favorite song, How Deep Is Your Love, but an android Ash describes that song as cheesy. Martha cannot tolerate it, 
and she takes Android Ash to a cliff and orders it to jump off. When the Android Ash follows her order, she angrily expresses her frustration. She says it doesn't have any history, and it just performs what General Ash does. Also, she tells it that the natural Ash would not have willingly jumped. The Android follows her instruction and begs for its life. Finally, she cannot bear to get rid of it. What do you think of this film? Would you do the same if you was her? Leave the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification, so you won't miss out on any incredible movie spoilers. See you in the next video.